There. With the World Cup less than 100 days away, people all over the world are catching World Cup fever. That includes our own Sunny Yang, who joins us now with the sunny side of sports. Sunny? Sporty greetings, Vincent. Let's kick off in South Africa. This week marked the 100-day countdown to football's World Cup. Speaking at a ceremony in the coastal city of Durban, FIFA President Sepp Blatter says he's confident South Africa will host a successful tournament. Blatter and other FIFA officials also inspected the 10 World Cup stadiums that will stage matches during the soccer extravaganza. This week, we continue our World Cup stadium profiles. Let's take a look at Mbombela World Cup Stadium in Nelspruit, 300 kilometers east of Johannesburg. The 46,000 seat stadium will host four World Cup matches with its opening game June 16th when Honduras plays Chile. The stadium is surrounded by some of South Africa's most spectacular game reserves and the famous Kruger National Park, giving fans the chance to see wildlife during the World Cup. Meanwhile, the World Cup bound Super Eagles of Nigeria introduced their new Swedish coach, Lars Lagerbach, this week in the capital, Abuja. Lagerbach will try to get Nigeria in top shape as it prepares for its opening match June 12th against two time World Cup champion Argentina in Johannesburg. In basketball news, star center Shaquille O'Neal of the Cleveland Cavaliers is expected to be sidelined about eight weeks after undergoing surgery on his right thumb. Big Shaq suffered the injury in a game against the Boston Celtics. The Cavaliers have the league's best record and they're hoping to have Big Shaq back for the NBA playoffs. Finally, let's give a sunny side of sports salute to Kwame Nkrumah Achiampong, the first ever Winter Olympian from Ghana. Though he didn't win a medal at the recently concluded Winter Olympics in Vancouver, the man nicknamed the Snow Leopard says he hopes his participation in alpine skiing will motivate other African athletes to try winter sports. I'm VOA's Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Sunny, and remember to watch for the sunny side of sports each Monday and Friday right here on In Focus. McCoy, I saw you kicking that ball. You're yeah. pretty good, you know? Uh, well, I think I, you did have a future. When I, you know, I, I would have possibly become a soccer player. Well, who knows? You still yeah. got life in you. <laughs>